Hello there. I'm going to play a map in a moment called Chillwind Pass. That was another map created by the Kenny. Kenny Z. Kenny Zevin. And uh, hopefully he'll be able to get this map up on the Hive Workshop and have it stay there. Excuse the uh, tire. I'm going to try and keep it like that high on woods. Because otherwise it just looks weird if it's my head like this high and then you can see that much more. But um, it's too damn hot. It's stupidly hot at the moment. But anyway, I just wanted to do this little pre-start to the map. Just to read out the map description. Because he's quite good with his map descriptions. So, Chill Wind Pass. 8 player map. 2 versus 2 versus 2 versus 2. Or 4 versus 4. Medium map size. And the tile set is village. This pass, situated north of the Alteric Mountains, has long been a major trading route for merchants and home to many woodland creatures. After a group of renegade mages and heretics found shelter here, the merchants call for your protection. So, I will move on to, onwards to the hosting of the map. Okay, so this is a 4 versus 4 GBR style on Chilwin Pass. So uh, you can download this map in the map description if you wish. And we're going to play it out. This is the first time I'm playing it as well. I've never seen this before. Just downloaded it. Here we go. So the premise of the map, if I can get... Although if you look at the description, in my description, then go to the download, you can actually see all the description for the map and why it is the way it is. But uh, let's get the moon world done. Zombies made a map as well, apparently. So we'll have to see his map at some point. The GBR community pumping out the maps. So one player is on the higher ground. This is why it can be a 2 versus 2 versus 2 as well. So you either have me and, say for example, me and Pink versus Blue and Grey versus whoever here is down there and whoever's in the bottom left as well. So I'm at the lower ground, and then if you want to get to a zombie without using air units, you have to come up through me. So it's a bit easy actually to come up through me because I'm a rubbish night elf. So you can just basically blow a night elf and it dies. Keep of the grove. Let's have some of that. So there's a strong red camp here in between the players, but I assume that's going to be pretty damn tough. So we'll uh, stay clear of that for the moment. <laughs> no risk taken just yet. Uh, there's lots of green camps and orange camps to do in between the players. So there's stuff to keep yourself busy with. So that's nice to see. Good game, good game. I like that. Let's get a shop down, so I'm pretty much covered for everything. And then I've got a choice of two different green camps to go to. So I'll go to this one. And then um, Zombie can join me. I think he's going rifles by the looks of it. I suspect it's Paladin and rifles, but I can't say for sure. Yep, that's a reasonable little green camp. That's about right. And there's an expansion there. I think we should try and nab that. So I'll probably do that. I'm going to use the Keep of the Grove and Balance to make this easy camp even easier to do. Ooh, there's a little bit of lag. And these guys will come back. They'll want some more. Oh, it's Mountain King. I did get that wrong. But it should still be rifles. Ooh, double rifles. He's really invested in those rifles. Level 1 Mountain King. Strategy. He's committed. Yeah, this is a reasonable orange spot as well. So the balance is right. Obviously the items might change things, but... Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying like... Obviously this doesn't look very balanced, and it looks a bit easy, but that's just pretty much what you do at high higher level in Warcraft 3, is you exploit the hell out of the game, which is why it's quite fun. It's because you can do things like this. This is basically minimising the amount of damage I would take if, uh, instead of me actually going there and creeping it normally. 
with it right up into their faces. Now I can get. Um, where do you think you're going? Ooh, that wisp has pretty much still got all your attention, has he? Okay. Well, at least I've got another backup wisp because they're still not aggroing me properly yet. Now we can go for it. There we go. That's what I was waiting for, and the item is nice and crappy, so that's fine. Probably better to have it crappy than too overpowered, I'd say. I stand ready. These rifles are just chilling out. Nature is restless. I'll probably get a tech in a moment. I've still got another entangle in me. So let's see what's up here. Oh, is this a free? It's a free mercenary camp. That's fair enough. Level one mountain king getting himself in a little bit of trouble. What's the goblin lab got? See, I don't mind ramps if they're in certain points in the map, and points like this are fine. They're interesting mobs. I think they can possess, so I'm not going to take too many chances there. Oh, hello. The time is now. What you want? By the spirit. Who do you want to kill? Do you want to the wild? Is what you want? Who do you want to kill now? Level one mountain king. Get up in here. Who do you want to kill? The wild. Oh, rifles are aggroing. And unfortunately, they're aggroing a lot of poison mobs. So that's really bad for us. Really bad. Might want to set the creep camps to a slightly lower acquisition range, but I assume it is probably 200. It's just he went a little bit too close, so you just got to be careful on a map like this. You need to kind of understand it and make sure that you stay as clear from those mobs as possible because that hurt. It's a bit risky to sort of commit to that anymore. I'm so close to level three as well. If we could just pull them back and get one kill or something, that'd be nice. Should get a guaranteed kill on that footman. Our warriors have engaged. Mountain King's back. Okay. Let's get that and go off this way. Tech should be done soon. Yep, I guess they know an archer's there. Maybe not. And I'm going to pull that creep camp back. I'm going to pull the archer back. I'm going to creep this. Ah, there's nothing there. Oh, wait, there is. No, there isn't. It's invisible. There it is. I was going to say, I thought it might be invisible. Nice item. Might want to put some wisps in that. I hope that hasn't been like that for too long. sell that scroll of raw despite it being a good item to some extent I want to go back and soak up my moon wells which have been absorbed a little bit maybe warriors of the night assemble i do threatens the wilds i am vigilant for kalindor is the danger we are poised to strike trust in my command Okay. I'm on my way. Ah, they did possess a uh, character. That's pretty funny. Right. 
I could do with a shredder, and that's good because you just cleared that camp. So I'm gonna go get myself a shredder. It's the thing you do when you're night elf. You should get yourself a shredder. Makes sense, right? Keeping true to the law. He's gonna have a load of towers there. More lumber is required. I hear you. We kind of need to get lucky and pull him out. We could get some items from the shop. That'd be nice. Let's go down this way, see if we can uh, spot anything. Ooh, hello. Particularly want her taking damage. These towers are going to make it hard to push much further. But we'll be able to do some damage at least. Whilst I'm going to be making my way towards Shims. Just get this shot down quickly, please. And then back off. Oh, hello. Three of them. That's cheating. We can't build oh, yeah, you're stuck, aren't you? Is there danger? We must act. Hello. They're really going all out here, aren't they? I'm going to TP out of this. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to run for that much distance. Without losing any more. This is quite a good map to be honest. It really is, especially for a full versus four map, which aren't too easy to make. But it's, uh, I like the balance, I like the perspective, the distances between the enemies and such. I think it's actually really well done. Yeah. I guess that's one thing that you could say is that it's pretty damn difficult to get into the base and you can really camp it up, but that could just be part of the flavor of this particular 4 versus 4 map because each 4 versus 4 map I know this much from ladder have their own particular flavors there's maps like friends unfortunately that's off the ladder pool at the moment which is a really good one but that was where two people were next to each other and that was kind of an interesting one because it was very different to all the other 4 versus 4 player maps a lot more different which made it in turn quite intriguing to play Just be careful with your heroes and we might get a little bit of experience because it looks like Anubis is on his own here. How many of them are on his side? Did they all TP down here? I love the Keeper of the Grove for stuff like this. It's so good. Oh, Princey boy. That's an inflammatory term, Princey boy. Got yourself in a little bit of a pickle there, didn't you? Look at all those towers. Really? He's getting bad. All my trees are battering the hell out of them. I'm going to TP back to deal with that because I won't be able to handle it otherwise. And I should have some shimmies soon. Sweet. All is in order. Just 
just got to worry about any severe anti-air. Somebody's got the mass rifles, which are kind of good up to this point. They're all on this side. They are all on this side for some reason. Looks like I'm going to invest in more hippos, maybe. Maybe uh, somebody can get them. No! Still getting griffs! Bloody human players in their griffs. I've got so much gold. And now I'm going to start spending it like crazy. Because I think I've pushed it that far. Oh, did he sapper that to death? He must have sappered that. If it went down that quickly, that's obviously the work of sappers. That's fine. Kind of don't need the resources at the moment. They're quite good. And they're all on this side again, are they? I've got yellow, orange, and dark green. So time to get back. Because I'm totally and utterly outnumbered again. Level 8 Warden! Who the hell? What have you been doing over there? Why the hell do they have a level 8 Warden? Oh well, GG. Well played. Game over. That's freaking huge. And unfortunately, Zombie's got a mostly dead army now. So I'm kind of on my own against two to three players. That's pretty much the only thing that's going to go for me here is just to kill. Prince ASAP. Yep, force him back. But otherwise, I'm massively outnumbered. But at least that's reduced the numbers a little bit. That's it, that's all my anti-air gone. I can't take on everyone, you know. This isn't free for all, is it? Is this free for all? And there's fucking tanks coming in here as well. <laughs> this is so one-sided! Oh my fucking days. What a one-sided fest. Oh my god. That is so Super one sided. Uh. Jesus, you gotta be kidding me. I think it'll be interesting to look at the scoreboards after this one. Oh, yeah, it's that old chestnut, is it? Team one, second place. And then the rest of my team are at the bottom. What are you doing at the bottom of the game? That's so unfair. <laughs> well, without blaming anyone, the people on the right hand side cost us the game. Because Cosmo was more or less on his own because they had Anubis on the left hand side, the Prince on the left hand side, Granty on the left hand side all the time. And he's got a level 8 warden. So, how did he do that? Someone fed him. That's how he did that. Anyway, thank you for watching. This has been Woody. Please subscribe, like, and comment. I'll see you later. Okay, game two on Chillwind Pass.
Let's hope this goes a little bit smoother. I am playing the random. Let's see what I get. Yes, me lord. Human. What? I have been granted the gift of imbalance. Yes, me lord. Why do you keep asking me that? Ah. This does... Oh, this was another thing that was mentioned in his notes. That he put down for his map description on the Hive Workshop. If it's still there. Is that you can get different positions. You can either have basically all top versus all bottom, or you can have a left versus right. So left versus right is going to change the game a fair bit, because now we've got to go this way, and we're going to utilize the middle a lot. This is really well made, this map. I can't think of any real faults with it, to be honest. I genuinely think this is more well than um, well and truly Blizzard worthy, this map. This is really well done. I'm impressed. Because the thing is, is four versus four maps, you can be a bit more lax. It doesn't have to be perfect. And this isn't me slagging the map off or anything like that. You have that kind of luxury to make it more chaotic and fun. And that's kind of what you've done here. And I like that. I like that you've given options. I mean, look, you've got the high, slightly higher ground here in the middle. or It's kind of blocked, is it? Slightly higher ground? I'm not sure if it even is. No, that's fine. Just looks like it is. You've got it blocked off so you can't cut through the trees and such. I don't know, it just I like the way the map flows. And for four versus four, it's more than acceptable. Right. Captain Crunch. Captain Lag. Is there an orange spot I can do early on? I could do the expansion actually, to be honest. I mean, it's going to be kind of tough for the enemy to unless they really want to come and attack my base, which they could do. These distances, it's not like huge, but it's big enough that I should be able to get away with a fast expansion, hopefully. It really is. If this was on the 4 versus 4 map ladder, you wouldn't bat an eyelid. You'd think it was the, the real deal. Don't purge. Don't purge. There we go, he purged. But not on the water elemental. Although there might be a purge coming for the water elemental, but I can get another one. That's fine. You purge away. I'll just get another one. How'd you like them apples? Yep, I thought someone might go aggressive against me. Could be a blade master, so I could get screwed in the moment. Yay! It's a blade master. <laughs> oh, map hack on. Granty whacking down the map hack. Sucker. Go blow another wind walk. Go commit to another wind walk. Ah, oh, there's fucking two blade masters, of course. And I just can't quite finish off my scout tower, so that's annoying, but kind of expected. This is the part where I need to get help from my closest ally. He's just got a blade master. What is it? Yes, me lord. Yes, me lord. Our town well, is under siege. Ready to work. Off I go then. What is it? Yes, me lord. Yes, me lord. What is it? Say the word. Get on. Can only assume a hell of a lot of fast teching is going on from the enemy. Ready to work. What is it? What? Ready for it. Get on. I hear the wind walk. Going 
going to be the death of your blade master. On my way. Our town is under siege. Was it worth it? Time to start getting aggressive and starting to bring the pain to them. Saw that one coming. Don't know why my Archmage is running that way. No wind walk for you in time. Now, oh, no expansion done either. That's good for us. Our forces are under attack. What is it? Well, orders. I can't build that. My Archmage is spazzing out quite as much as he is, but he's finding it hard to get around a little bit. as Epic is doing. Get that activity, tick him. Thank you. 
doing? Where are you? You must be down there. Still only level two. Had a lot of action going on, but not any, any real progression. Here comes the gank. I get the feeling this is going to be one-sided again. <laughs> Blade Master. Please kill him. For whatever reason, it doesn't like this. If I try to send units to go here, they don't go around here, they keep getting stuck there. That's not really much you can do about it, I think, but it's it's not good. I have to manually control that quite a bit. Okay. Is it over? Or was that just some weird disconnect because two people left at exactly the same time? That's pretty weird. But that's obviously very unfortunate. Not too surprising now. Why not? May as well have a nice little disc. All my mobs. Right, I'm gonna have to kill that farm because everything's getting stuck against that farm for some reason. That's kind of annoying. Okay, there we go. My hotkeys aren't going to be as good because obviously I'm a little bit preoccupied preoccupied with everything that's going on. Oh, 
Oh, really? I've got to fight this as well, have I? Come on, it's already a one versus two, pretty much. I've got no TP, so I'm kind of screwed at this point. This sucks so much for someone like me in this position. What am I supposed to do? everything now. At least they're raping bottom very hard, so that's just what we've got to stick with. And I'll just have to camp it up, because obviously I'm going to get screwed over this game. So, go maximum defense mode if they want to try and screw me over. That's fine. Maximum defense mode it is. Enjoy. Oh, they've already lost. They've already lost. Oh, really? Is that what you want to do, Wivens? You want to attack that creek camp? Is that what you want? I don't think that's particularly useful, but okay. That's what really what you want to do. Go for it. Let's see them handle this, to be honest. Yeah, have fun versus this. Level 6 Priestess of the Moon. We'll just watch this whilst I sit in my base all comfortable. She's got enough mana as well for Starfall, so it'll be a good time to do it, I think. What's that? You want to attack me? Come and get me. I'm sitting right here. I think this is well and truly over. Sorry, the prince. But your time is nigh. I'm staying super defensive because I'm sulking. I'm not giving them an inch. If they want me, they have to come inside of this base. If you really want to get yourself in this Warcraft free footage, then that's what you've got to do. Enjoy. See? Blade Master's there. Trying to get an opportunity to screw me over. Not gonna happen. Ha ha ha. 
That's some nice stuff all going on there. A lot of those peons are getting killed before they can reach the burrows. Blade Master's going to do a good job of deflecting it a little bit, but I think a lot of the damage is done. But they're so desperate. So desperate. Let's get ready for this. Are we ready for this? Come at me, bro. She's slightly stronger than me. Let's do this. Too much for you to handle. It's <laughs> a nice TP. kind of need to just finish this now and just keep the mass towers rather than constantly defending because that's exactly what they want Yes, 
there's more gold in the uh, upper base, as it were. I got fairy fire on you. Well, not me specifically, but there was fairy fire, so you're dead. Enjoy that. Ooh, Stormbolt! Work your magic. All the mountain things. Dead. That fairy fire is so good. Tightly and utterly screw those blade masters over. Time to leave. Our work here is done. Justice has been served. <laughs> Humans ruling the roost, and that level 9 priestess of the main with more hero kills. But the Shims must have helped a little bit with that. And the unorthodox Dark Ranger and Keep of the Grove, keeping it real. Alrighty. Okay, thank you for watching. This has been Willy. Please subscribe, like, and comment.